we are about to go inside of Harrods for the very first time. This is a high-end department store in London that has been around since the 1800s. It is supposed to be pretty fancy inside and a lot of our viewers told us that when we come back to London that we should check it out. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, it looks pretty fancy from the outside. It's huge looking too. I didn't even notice the lit up sign up the column. Yeah, yeah. It had like a crest on it too. Yeah, that, I think that means it's fancy. The other thing that's nice is that the underground station comes out right outside of it. All we know about this place is what we've heard from uh, the people that have suggested to it to us. I do think that we've seen a video at some point just not realizing like what this was about the food hall. So I know there's a good food hall and I think I've seen pictures of like an elaborate Egyptian display of some kind. But other than that, we don't know what to expect. So let's, let's, let's go, go find out. <laughs> You walk in and there's immediately like a big section of Fendi bags. That's pretty fancy. Yeah, that's fancy. Now every time I see a Prada, which is going to be very few times in general, I'm going to think about the Marfa Prada art display that we went to over the summer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Same vibes. I have sunglasses you can try on. Oh, I like them. <laughs> This coat has like, like Cookie Monster on it or something. I love it. I want these coats. The Louis Vuitton has a giant art display in it and it's pretty amazing. You know, the other thing I appreciate about this place so far is that this is definitely like not for us, no. but I don't feel like it's like a pretty woman situation. That's fair. <laughs> I think that this is so far kind of confusing. Like there's just lots of rooms and I don't know where to go, but let's find the food hall and then we'll come explore more. The Dior room's my favorite. Look at all the fun color coded things in here. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they're like doll dresses even. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This room's my favorite so far. There's an entire like regular size department store dedicated just to chocolate. According to this sign, these are exclusive. Oh, they're so neat. What cool containers these come in. 20 pounds for a dark chocolate coffee bean bonbon. I mean, for the vessel it comes in, that doesn't seem unreasonable. This would be like a perfect place to get gifts. Yeah, it's interesting. Those are pretty. Look at those, those, the caramelized nut selection. That's fancy. I've never seen chocolate covered pistachio. Yeah, they're pistachio stuffed chocolate covered dates. Oh, that's so good. These are exclusive, these are Christmas items. Oh, candied fruits. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is new. Pistachio baklava. Oh, like real good Turkish delight. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Not only are these adorable, but they're called Cornet Crunchy. So it has a great name too. These are the most beautiful candies I've ever seen. They're bonbons and they come in a variety of amazing looking flavors. A spice walnut and caramel. Oh, that's the Christmas special right there. Wow, those are two pound fifty each. Do you want to share one? Cut it in half. <laughs> A little tiny taster. Yeah. Oh, we found the cheese broom. <laughs> Granite salad. Interesting. They just look so good. Wow. They have a lobster roll. They have a prawn cocktail roll. They have a truffle egg sandwich that looks pretty fancy. And they have some kind of sandwich that has like gold flecks on it. Too many choices. So many choices. 
bought a bunch of food and tried to take it into their dining hall, but that's something different. You can't take food from the, the market hall into their dining hall. That's like a sit down restaurant situation. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the Christmas stuff. I'm trying to like reach across for something on the other side, but I'm like, is this honey that has a cinnamon stick in it? That sounds nice. I guess we also didn't realize there's a whole extra room of like coffee and cakes and all savory biscuits I see a sign for. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh man, these look amazing. Look how fresh those strawberries look. Yeah, I mean, they're all very pretty, but man, that strawberry one looks extra good to me. I think I'm officially overwhelmed. Yeah, <laughs> like I it's, think, I think a bit. because it's lunchtime, it's busy here. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, like there's so much going on. Look at all these breads. They look so good. Ooh, olive and rosemary sourdough. That sounds good. According to this sign, this direction is Fine Watches. Uh, Tiffany Blue Box Cafe. I guess Tiffany's also has a cafe here. I guess so. Should we go see what it's like? I guess. I am not the demographic for a lot of these, but Fine Watches is like the biggest one. I'm not, I'm not that. That's not me. There is the Tiffany Blue Box Cafe. It's definitely a, a blue box cafe, isn't it? We were saying that we're feeling overwhelmed. We're on the ground floor. There's like six other floors. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, we saw the outside of the building. <laughs> okay, well let's go take a look at something. There are so many food options. There's like a modern Chinese cuisine on the fifth floor. Look at all these cafes on the fourth floor. Oh, they have a tea room here. Interesting, I didn't know that. Oh, there's a Gordon Ramsay burger. All right, let's go, like, the toy department? Yeah, okay, like. okay. Jeremy's made up his mind. He wants to see the toy department at Harrods. I'm just curious. <laughs> okay, this way has a Lebanese bakery. Oh, there it is. I love that there are so many little cafes, like little nooks and crannies, and a lot of them only seat, like, 15 people. It's very interesting. I mean, it has lobster and shrimp, but they have a burger that's 55 pounds. You know how Ikea is purposefully designed so that you wander around and you kind of get lost and yeah. you're like, oh, this way, this is what this feels like. But fancy. Oh, you have money? Just wander around through here. You, you'll it find doesn't, something. It doesn't matter where you want to go. You'll, you'll find something you like. Oh, he's so cute. And thumper. Speaking of Ikea, this is definitely giving me like the Ikea children's toy department vibes. <laughs> but maybe it's more just like European toys, I don't know. Oh, I would have loved this. That would have been my toy choice when I was seven. Barbie cutie reveal, sold, sold. It's like a little surprise, but for Barbie. And now I want it. Is Barbie a furry? Maybe. It's a surprise. It's a cutie reveal. <laughs> oh, you get to see that she has something pink though. I'd pick this one, it has pink. I noticed there's these toys called Our Generation, which I think we have in the US, but growing up we had American Girl, which are very similar and they still exist there, but I'm wondering, I assume that that's not a thing here in the UK, that you don't have American Girl dolls, but at least I haven't seen them here yet. This Barbie has a dog and that dog has puppies in a tiny backpack. This is my Barbie, I like this one. Whoa, a Gloria Estefan Barbie? Is that a thing in America or is that just a thing here? I don't know. <laughs> oh, they even have a, a Laverne Cox Barbie, that's so cool. <gasps> look at the pink collection one. That's fun. I like that one. Oh, look at her, she looks like a birthday cake in that one. I'm gonna get that Barbie Extra doll and this Snape doll. I'm gonna make them the hot new couple. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that that's what he was at first. That is pretty neat. Guess what I just found? What? A Lambo. Look at all these fun Disney ones. <gasps> this one has horses with it. These are the two best horses if you ask me. I would say for being inside of an actual d giant department store, this is a pretty legit Lego collection. Yeah, it's pretty big. Kind of some unique ones too. Yeah. Trying to find the elevator we took here, the lift. The lift, yeah. And instead we, we found escalators. escalators, so this is it. <laughs> I guess this 
means as we go down, we can uh, browse into the different sections that we're missing out on. Is there anything else that we should check out before we go? I think we're good. When we saw that Lego Herod's guy, I didn't know that they had a real one outside. We, we went in the wrong entrance, I guess. Yeah, we didn't see a doorman where we were, but there is one right over there. We found a little park bench, so that's what we're doing. We tried to walk to a little uh, garden, like it's all green on the map, but apparently it's private, so uh, we're just back outside Herod's again. I saw it, that it had a piece of dragon fruit in it, and it was a beautiful dragon fruit color, and I wanted it to be wonderful, but it's... That's fine. I mean, it's just water, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's good, but... Oh, this one's really good. Pineapple vanilla. It's delightful. Yeah. Way better than mine. I got some salad rolls. I honestly, I feel like it was so long ago I got these, I can't even remember what I got, but I think there's a salmon one and a vegan chicken masala one and I don't remember but they're probably good. Eight pound 95 is what it was for four of them. Mm. Oh this is a pesto and feta one, it's really good. Ooh. This one is definitely the salmon one. It looks like it's got some vibrant colors happening in it too. It's a pulled pork and apple jam sausage roll. Five pound. It does look pretty tasty. That's pretty tasty. It's got a nice little sweetness from the apple jam and the uh, pastry is pretty nice too. Now we've experienced both Herod's the store and Herod's the food. Thoughts? The store is probably not for me. I felt a little out of place and it was very fancy but also not unwelcome, which is nice. Uh, the food was all good quality, like not cheap, but I think reasonable for the quality of the food that it was. I agree. I'm the kind of person, like give me three choices and I'll pick one of those. And so I feel like Herod's as a whole was kind of overwhelming, but there was some really neat stuff in there. And I especially thought that like the chocolate department and like some of the sweets, like those would make really good Christmas gifts. And while I probably wouldn't shop there on a regular basis, I can appreciate a lot of the aspects of what they have to offer. Yeah. But we also just saw like a small fraction of what there is and um, our, our viewers tend to give us really good suggestions. So if we miss something, if there's a food we should try or a department we missed, leave a comment and let us know. And if you haven't been to Harrods but you're planning to go for the first time, uh, look through the comments because our viewers usually have some pretty darn good tips. So thank you for suggesting this. Uh, it was definitely an experience. Definitely recommend checking it out if you're in London and you haven't experienced it. We'll see you soon. We've got plenty more videos to come from our trip and travels through the UK.